Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's edition of the Targum Takeaway. My name is Erica DaCosta and snow wasn't the only news this week, so let's jump into this week's top stories in the Scarlet Knight community. First, to help support the Student Emergency Fund, a Rutgers dean took a 30-foot plunge from the diving boards at the Sony Werblin Pool at this year's Tower Jump. Associate Dean of Student Affairs Jeff Brogy made the jump under the condition that he raise $1,000 for the Emergency Assistance Fund by running four races in four days at Disney World. He also did it to show students that deans are more than just an administrator. Brogy said if they see we care that much, they may feel more comfortable sharing their worries, fears, challenges, and struggles so we can come to resolutions together. Next, over spring break, a Rutgers student died in a snowboarding accident at Blue Mountain Resort. Yuna Shin was a sophomore in the School of Engineering. In an email, Rutgers New Brunswick Chancellor Debussy Shtada said, I am greatly saddened by Yuna's death, and I hope you will join me in offering your thoughts and prayers to her family and friends. He said Yuna was an engaged student who was active on campus as a member of the Executive Board of the Honors College Knights Table and as an Honors College ally who supported younger students with similar majors. Next, New Jersey state senators have voted in favor of Bill S-699, legislation that would grant certain undocumented students eligibility to apply for state financial aid. State Senator Teresa Ruiz said lawmakers cannot wait for federal government to protect New Jersey students and state representatives have to do it now. There are more than 17,000 New Jersey residents that are DACA recipients according to United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Many of them still enrolled will not be able to complete their degrees if S-699 does not pass. The Rector's class of 2018 is 1,300 donors short of being the most charitable class in Rector's history. The Scarlet Knight Senior Campaign, led by senior Marcus Jules, is committed to helping his class make history. This year's goal is to enlist 1,600 donors. Currently, the campaign has reached 300 donors, raising more than $8,000. I believe it's especially important for seniors to reflect on the Rector's experience and do our part to ensure that the next generation of students can have the same opportunities we did. Lastly, Rutgers students, faculty, and staff now have a free subscription to the Wall Street Journal. To activate it, you can visit the Wall Street Journal website, which links to the university's portal system. The journal offers the coverage from all things from global news, financial news, politics, arts, culture, lifestyle, sports, and health. Each student account comes with access to the WallStreetJournal.com, the Wall Street Journal mobile app, curated newsletters, and Wall Street Journal Plus, an exclusive experience with access to special events, discounts, and travel destinations. That's all for this week, guys. Check us out at thedailytargum.com for all this and much more. Until next week, this has been your campus news by students for students.